Although I, although I think Arsenal play better, Spurs counterattack style is uh, is the rock. Especially with us, with a Arsenal. that's a great comment because we've played a high line this season, and I see I'm I'm not one for stats because I think they can be manipulated every way you can you can twist them yeah, but statistically this season Arsenal have played a higher line than any team in the league. Yeah, and, and against a Conte counter-attacking park, the bus, bang, and then when you've got the, the efficiency of that, that strike force. I don't know. I, I still think we'll beat them, yeah. But I don't know. We're either, it's either going to be a 3-2, a 4-3, a 4-2, something like that. I was are there you, for the 4-2. Are, 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 are you predicting an Arsenal win? All day long. It's Tottenham. There, there we go. So we, I've uh, said it a million times before, and people cry about it. They're not our rivals. They don't win anything. Yeah, they've won enough. In my lifetime, I'm 40, Terry. They've won four trophies since I've been alive. Yeah, but what are they supposed to be right? They're rivals by postcode and by logistics. That's it. And, and because we we cheated our way back into the league in all them years ago. Yeah, with little backhanders and that. Yeah, but at the end of the day, they're not our rivals. Chelsea should be our rivals. That's who should be our rivals because they're literally around the corner and they win everything. That's who we should be looking at. But then people go, oh, but they spend a fortune. Okay, well, so you can't compete with Chelsea. Okay, well, how comes Liverpool can then? Because they spend less than Arsenal and they can compete with City. Like, it makes no sense. The arguments that these people put forward for why we can't compete. And this is the thing, like you said about the start of our season. It's been great. We have real talk, but I predicted we'd win. I said I said we'd even win um, against potentially against United. Yeah, I said we should win the first five comfortably. Yeah, and then we should beat United and, and we could potentially be sat with a Brentford win as well, blah, blah, blah. We didn't beat United, but we've won six out of seven, right? We will beat Tottenham because it's Tottenham. They, <laughs> yeah, we, somebody's going to, you're going to clip that. I know you're clipping that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be on Lad Bible, Sport Bible. I'll be everywhere on Saturday. Jesus Christ, I shouldn't have said that. But we will beat them. Yeah, and, and the thing is, Terry, right? After spending nearly 400 million, it's about 368 million or something he's spent, and four years or four, uh, four seasons into a project, a process, or whatever, three full years come no, uh, December. Well, we should be beating Palace away. We should be beating Brentford away. Like I've seen people saying redemption for beating Brentford. Bro, they've been in the league once in 93 years. Yeah, we should be beating them. We should be beating Leicester. We should be beating Palace. We should be beating all the teams we've beaten. The difference is we wasn't. And this season we are, and we're doing it in pretty good style. For me, when I look at our squad, there's probably about 16 players that are first-team players. The rest is championship level. Our bench the other day against Brentford, mate, yeah, is just insane. Like, is the 15-year-old coming on against Tottenham? Probably not. Yeah, is, is the 17 year old that was sat on the bench for the last few games going to get a game this season? Probably not. So, the 400 mil or 370 mil, whatever it is we've spent, this is where we're at. As soon as we get key players out injured, if Gabriel Jesus gets injured, then what? If Thomas Party gets injured and we can't rely on him, he's always injured. Smith Rowe's always injured. Tommy Asu's injured. Tierney's injured. Party's always. Then what do we do? And that is that is why. I'm saying, cool, enjoy it. Seven games, we're top of the table. Cool, we'll probably beat Tottenham, whatever. But it's not sustainable with a squad so small when we've got an extra competition. And this month, we have got nine games. That's the most we've ever had in a month, ever, in our history. And we've got Europa League. Then we've got Premier League, Europa League. Every three days this month, or October, we've got a game. If we get key players out injured... Mate, that ain't sustainable. It, it, do you know what's going to be? Th this month, I think, is going to be such an acid test. We almost got like, we thought we were going to start to see it in September, how teams were going to cope. And then Lizzie died and we didn't see those games. And we then it was. see Tottenham win the league, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I know. Um, There's not many of them. October is going to be a massive test for lots of teams, in inclu including mm. Arsenal. And that's why I still think Arsenal are going to make top four. Even with the, the squad you're saying, Stan, winning the title is what I don't think. If we don't win, if we don't get top four and we don't win anything, regardless of getting to a final and losing the final, if we don't win anything and don't get top four, do you think Arsenal will sack him? Um, I think context has got to be applied, but no, no, no context. You won another and you well, finished I, fifth. Well, well, Is he I, getting I, sacked? 
I don't think they will, no. There you go. And this is why when you said about Southgate and it's right to question him and it's right to call him out and it's right to keep saying it every single week, every single month. This is exactly my point, Terry. I do not believe this manager is ever going to win us a title. I don't believe he'll get us in a title race. But if he does get us in a title race and we're in it until the end of the season, i.e. May, yeah, then I will say, cool, I'll, I'll hold back a bit. Yeah. This guy ain't good enough. If he wins us the Europa League, cool, well done. You got us back in the Champions League, mate. Now go and get a proper manager. Yeah, if he wins us the FA Cup, cool. Well, you've already done that. You ripped up the whole squad and we've won nothing since. I, I hear I, I I hear where you're coming from. Uh, Super Chats here. Maria says, uh, Spurs dropped points last season to Wolves, Southampton, Chelsea and West Ham. This year, we haven't. Uh, you praise Arsenal for it, but not Spurs. Well, you dropped points to Chelsea and West Ham because you drew with them. Um, but I think I have praised Tottenham this year. Uh, Maria, and even when I predicted you to come fifth, I've now changed that to fourth. I still said you were going to be a very, very good team. I just felt that there were two or three more teams that were going to be better than you. Um, and I do think Spurs are very, very good. And if you've watched my match reviews, which I know you do, I've praised Spurs. Um, I just kind of really felt that the summer was overrated, like the transfer window in terms of pound for pound, player for player, the way, the way some of those players were discussed and spoken about, I thought was slightly over, uh, an overreaction. Um, but I do think Spurs are dangerous with Antonio Conte. I, I, I wouldn't take that away. Uh, Will here says Arsenal beat uh, Leicester 4 2. Spurs won 6 2. Arsenal beat Fulham 2 1. Spurs beat them 2 1. Who did Arsenal beat uh, that's a better team than Tottenham? Haven't beaten. Seriously, name one Bournemouth. And, and, like, I, <laughs> and, and that, mate, that's a fair point. That's why you're one point behind them. That's why you're yeah. one point behind them. But then I think then, then you look at I test, and I think you look at the fact that I think Arsenal. Oh, so I test is cool now, tell you. It's always been, <laughs> always been cool. It's always been cool. It's a, it's a combination of those things. I, I just, hey, I the just, chat will remember this. I test, yeah. You said I test is flawed because it's 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 flawed. No, go on, I, go on, think, I, go on, take a breath. I, I don't have to think. I can keep speaking the whole way through. You use I test and you use statistics and you cross them uh, uh, across one of that. Example would be this. There's a stat that's going around at the minute that shows like the worst goalkeeping save rates in the league. And most of the yeah. goalies in the top six are top six goalkeepers. And why is that? Because they get less shots at them. And the ironic, ironic thing is, a lot of the times when you actually get shots off against the, the, the keepers of the top teams, it's when a team does get in behind and have a big opportunity to score, which are obviously harder for goalkeepers to save. So it's yeah. a stat that in, in isolation looks bad. But when you then use the eye test and you study the game, you realize it is, is not as important as you think it would be. So it's like, I always use, I like stats and I like the eye test and I like to put them together. Uh, that, that's what I would say. Uh, Arsenal ain't that. in North London. The Prem is dumb. Arsenal um, ain't in North London. What know. are you chatting about? I don't know, I don't know what that means. Uh, Super Chat here says, um, I, <laughs> when I take a shot at you, you will change the goalpost and whine like a little kid and play the, or play the victim. I didn't change the goalpost. I was explaining my context uh, and you were wrong because you interpreted it wrong. So it's not about moving the goalpost. You take a shot and you miss the bill. Uh, but thank you, my friend, um, for the super chat. There's another super chat just come through. It says Fulham are a great team uh, versus uh, Leicester uh, City and Liverpool, but it's only Fulham when they play Man United and Arsenal. Why is it jealousy? It is true. It, it is It is true. I totally get that. Jealous um, of who? Fulham? Or jealous of... Uh, I'm confused. Jealous of Fulham? No, I think he's saying that Man United, like Arsenal beat Fulham and people say it's just Fulham. But if Liverpool beat Fulham, it's like, yeah, but they're a good team, you know. I think that's what he's saying. Like, which, oh, okay. Which, yeah, which we have seen before. Uh, the same Spurs that celebrate draws against Chelsea. Um, oh, don't worry, mate. Arsenal celebrate draws against um, against Fulham and Crystal Palace. Yeah. <laughs> there we, yeah, there jumping we go. in the crowd and all of that. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Viewers, I want your score predictions for the North London derby. Get those in. What my us. score prediction? Yeah, what, yeah, what's your score prediction, Lee? What is your score prediction? 4-2. I've changed it from yesterday with Dan. No, I'm going to change it every day this week. Yeah, because eventually at the end of the week, we're going to get the updated team news, the press conference and all of that. But yeah, it'll probably change. I think we'll beat him 4-2. Smashing them, bro. <laughs> Mate, I, I, I was there when Emery slapped four past him. I was right behind the Bamiyang's goal. As soon as it came off his foot, mate, the North Bank lower was getting insane. We knew it was in. Larice, Larice was probably still drunk. <laughs> I'd love, I'd love, a, I'd love a, I'd love a four, I'd love a big result in either direction.